ICF kids. It's good to be with you again through a video this week. And we're going to be looking some more at the attributes of God. What is God like? Let's review what we already know. God is almighty. He's the alpha and the omega. God is awesome. God is compassionate. He's our deliverer. God is exalted. God is faithful. God is glorious. God is good. God is gracious. God is our healer. God is holy and he is our hope. Hope. Today we're going to see that God is our Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God with us. From the very beginning, after God created the heavens and the earth and everything in it, and he created Adam and Eve, he desired fellowship with Adam and Eve. He wanted to be with them and he got to, they got to walk with him in the garden. They got to just be with God in the Garden of Eden. But then they sinned. They chose to take fruit from the forbidden tree and they sinned. And because God is holy and set apart, that sin separated them from God. Even then, God promised a Messiah that would crush Satan and restore them to him. But all through the Old Testament, we see that the Israelites could not be in the presence of God. In the tabernacle and in the temple, there was a curtain separating them from the Holy of Holies where God's presence dwelled. High priests had to go through strict cleansing laws to be able to go in to make the sacrifices. Then God did a wonderful, amazing thing. He sent Jesus as a baby. God sent his son to live on earth as a baby, as a person. It's what we just celebrated at Christmas. Joseph, Mary, the angels, the shepherds, the wise men. We're, we're all part of this great plan to bring us back into being with God. Isaiah had promised this over 400 years before. He had said, therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel means God with us. And after hundreds of years of being separated from God because of sin, God sent Jesus. John 1, 1 through 4 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Jesus was there in the beginning, at the time of creation, and in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve. He's always been there. Nothing was made without Jesus. He was part of the creation, of creating the heavens and the earth. And God knew that it would be Jesus that would crush Satan. John 1 14 says the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and truth. How awesome it would have been to be the disciples and get to walk with Jesus and eat with him and talk to him and sit with him. He was there. He was flesh dwelling among mankind. That must have been an incredible experience. But even more amazing than that, after his death and resurrection and his ascension, he sent the Holy Spirit who's with us all the time. We can talk to him. He hears us. He sees us. He knows us. He cares about us. We can talk to him anywhere and at any time because the Holy Spirit is here. God is with us all the time because of what Jesus did for us. 
Listen to what Philippians 2, 6 through 11 say about Jesus, who being in the very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. God wants you to spend eternity with him in heaven. That's why he sent Jesus as a baby to live a perfect life as a man, to humbly die on the cross and to live again so that we don't have to die eternally because of our sin. The only way to spend eternity with God in heaven is through Jesus. I'm so thankful that God sent Jesus as our Emmanuel. From the baby in the manger, to the Savior on the cross, to the Holy Spirit who's always with us, and Jesus now preparing an eternal place for us to be with him in heaven. I'm so thankful for Jesus, our Emmanuel. To help you remember that God is our Emmanuel, God with us, you can make a card. On the front, I put the Word of God as if this is a Bible, the Word of God. On the back, I put the Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, John 1, 14. When the Word of God became flesh, we found Jesus in the manger. Isaiah 7, 14 says the virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. To make my manger, I cut a trapezoid and I folded in the edges on each side so they could be glued on and I folded it in the middle so that it would pop out. And I glued a body and a head on for it to be Jesus and I colored in some legs for the manger. The Word of God became flesh and made His dwelling among us. He's our Emmanuel. If you'd like to do something simpler, you can just take a piece of paper and write the word Emmanuel down the side of it. And God with us. For each letter in Emmanuel, think of something that Jesus means to you. You can do this with your family, with your siblings, by yourself, or even with your small group if you're meeting with a small group this Sunday. Think together of things for each letter in Emmanuel about Jesus. We've had Christmas and we've all had good Christmases and I bet you got some neat things for Christmas. But one day those things might break or you won't like them anymore or they won't fit. But the greatest gift of Christmas is Jesus. He's our Emmanuel. He's always with us because of what Jesus did on the cross for us. And we can be with him for eternity if we accept him as our savior. Emmanuel, God with us. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Let's go.